What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over how to delete a node at a certain position in a linked list. So, um, first of all, to delete a node at a certain position at the linked list, basically, let's say in the input we have 26, 2, 19, 7, 4, 15, 9, and we want to delete the node at position 3. So, at position 3 it would be uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. So then 19 is gone. So as you could see in here, you have 26, 2, and then the 19 is gone, it becomes 7, 4, 15, 9. Okay? All right, so how would you do this? Um, simplest way is just to go to right before the the node that you want to delete. So that we, we want to delete 19. We go to the 2, and then we just set the next pointer of 2 to point two seven, right? The one after 19. So we just... Point two is next, is going to now point a seven, and then the 19 is now gone. So, um, yeah, so let's actually do that. So, how do you do this? Uh, let's actually create, we're going to create a current node, and we're going to point it to the head of it, head of the list. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my position from zero, and I'm going to do while current is not equal to the end, and my position is not equal to my end position minus one. Okay, uh, let's actually call this current position. So my, my, while my current position is not equal to position minus one, this is, uh, then I'm gonna do uh, current equals a current next. So I keep going to the next node and then I increment my position. And what this does is this is going to make me go to the, the node right before the one that we're moving. So if I'm removing 19, right at position three, zero, one, two, three. I'm gonna stop at two and then set two's next to point to 19's next. So yeah, to do that, um, once we're here, we're just gonna set currents next. We're going to equals currents next, next. And ideally that should remove it. And now we're just gonna return the head of the list. Yep. Okay, we're missing a test case. We seg faulted. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, we have to check if current is not equal to no pointer, right? Because in case if we hit the end of the list, right? Okay, we're still seg faulting. What are we seg faulting? Wrong answer. Um, Um, well, if this is the case, if current's next, if current is not equal to null pointer, then we need to, well, we also have to check if current's next, next is not equal to null. Then we could do this. So, uh, I'll put this here. And it should work now. Okay, we're still failing. I don't know why we're failing. Uh, can I just unlock this? I'm gonna unlock it. What am I deleting? Hold up. Let's run it. What are we deleting? What's the expected output? Your standard output is 11, 12, 8, 18, 16, 5, 18. Oh, we're deleting at position zero. Currents next, gonna go currents next, next. Um, oh, okay, so if the current position is equal to zero, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna return lists next. And this is a hacky way to do it, but it's going to get rid of the yeah, basically what I'm doing is um, I'm not really, I'm just gonna return the next node, so it's not gonna do anything. 
Um, you technically could just set list equal to list next and then return list. Like, yeah. Anyway, that's how you do it. Uh, let's submit this code. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.